Welcome to Production Wardrobe here at the Australian Ballet. I'm David McAllister, Artistic Director of the Australian Ballet, and this week we're taking you behind the scenes with Jerome Kaplan, the set and costume designer for Cinderella, as he works with the amazing artists across our organisation to build these beautiful sets and costumes. It's a long journey whenever you start a big ballet. You start talking years in advance and then many, many months to create the design. And then it takes the workshop many more months to produce. The inspiration of Cinderella, it's come from the music. Uh, Prokofiev composed uh, this music during uh, the Second World War. And uh, I propose to Alexei, uh, because of the mood of the music of Prokofiev, that it could be interesting to come back to surrealist movement, especially in the act one, uh, the Cinderella's home, and of the dream of Cinderella. The Princess Palace is like what you would see in St. Petersburg, classical malachite and marble columns, which works well, I think, with uh, Prokofiev's rich, dark music. All of the curtaining that you'll see throughout the set is printed on. It's a, it's a marble print that Jerome's designed. It is a first for us. We've never been asked to print in such a large degree. We probably printed one and a half kilometers worth of fabric. We think the show being painted by hand with the normal staff that the, would have painted, it would have probably taken a year, and the printing took two weeks. That's the advantage of printing. All of the scenic elements that we are talking about printed have still got that hint of scenic art still tied in with it to finish them off. Jerome is very, very good at what he does. All we need to do is make it happen. When you design costume for a ballet, you need to think about uh, uh, the movement and uh, you need to think also about the uh, really clearly about what effect you would like to have with the fabric. Uh, soft fabric, heavy fabric, it depends on the character. We have contrast in different characters. The godmother will have a very thick, uh, heavy coat, a little bit like a beggar, whereas in contrast we have a very soft dresses for the bold guest and Cinderella also. So it's a very romantic dress in chiffon. Uh, and organza of silk, uh, very soft and girly, inspired by the new look of Christian Dior. So the color palette of the costumes, when I designed to, um, when I designed to do the palace, I tried to follow in the costumes the same kind of um, palette and colors. That's why we have a lot of pink, purple and green in the costume. I really like working with Jerome. He's unlike a lot of designers we've worked with in that he's not too obsessed with um, whether it's exactly the right shade or whether it's four shades out. What he really wants to push is he's always talking about pushing the silhouettes and it's all about line and that's fantastic for us because then you kind of get to go oh I reckon we should do it like this. It's all been a challenge. It's very exciting, what can I say? You never know everything with the creative process, so you try, you test, you experiment. It's a challenge, but it's fun. No one's going to be expecting what we're going to give them. 